Okay, so do you have any questions for me? No, I'm ready. Willie Mae Shelton is ready for surgery. She has an abdominal aortic aneurysm, a potentially deadly problem doctors found when they gave her a scan to diagnose some nagging hip pain. Yeah, I was like really shocked, you know. Well, the danger of having an abdominal aortic aneurysm is not knowing about it. And uh, unfortunately, most people don't know about it. And the first sign that they have is when it begins to leak or rupture. Well, I smoked for a lot of years, you know, he said, like a lot of time aneurysms come from smoking and high blood pressure. What we're going to do today. The normal diameter of the aortic artery is two centimeters. Willie Mays has ballooned, quadrupling in size and putting her at risk. Aneurysms can get huge. In fact, the individual today has an eight centimeter aneurysm. Turn them up all the way. At Baptist Medical Center in San Antonio, Willie May is having her aneurysm repaired in a procedure called an endograft. It's an excellent operation. It's probably our best operation. She's in good hands. Once we do it and the patient gets through it, it lasts forever. Her doctors are part of Peripheral Vascular Associates, the largest group of board certified vascular surgeons in Texas. Slowly opening up. You see that? Dr. Bill English and Dr. Danny Tamez are using a minimally invasive technique. That's good. We're right here, right like that. It's easier on the patient. We can see the right renal artery, the left renal artery. Instead of opening up the patient, they make two small cuts in the groin and work with imaging as their guide. It's got to get a wire to come up. Using guide wires to thread their way inside the body, the surgeons carefully deploy the stent, creating a tube inside the swollen artery. At times, it's a tedious task to get all of the parts in place. When the operation is complete, the abdominal aortic aneurysm is cured. The stent graft acts like a vessel within a vessel, conducting blood flow to the legs while sealing off the dangerous aneurysm. The endograft approach saves time. The surgery is shorter than the open procedure, and the patient's hospital stay is shorter, too. The procedure can take an hour, an hour and a half, and most patients are gone in one to two days. Willie Mae plans to return to work. Thank God to the Baptist. She has nothing but praise for her care at Baptist Health System and Peripheral Vascular Associates. The people here are very professional. Timely detection and repair of abdominal aortic aneurysms is crucial since a rupture can have catastrophic consequences. The physicians at PVA say this technique is a good option for many patients. Minimally invasive vascular surgery with maximum results. That's the difference. That's Baptist care. For more information, log on to bhsvascular.com or call 297-7005. For the Baptist Health News Network, I'm Wendy Rigby.